Hey guys, it's Hefa. I'm back again, and this is going to be another mystery unbagging. I have seven different blind bags and boxes in here in front of me that I have been collecting in recent times. So we are just going to get into it. I am going to start with this egg right here. This is a grocery gang egg that um, I found whilst shopping somewhere like uh, Target, I think it was. Um, it says on it, your shopping's gone rotten, which I thought was really funny. So it is a lovely green egg. Pop it open, blind bag inside. I haven't opened these ones before. I haven't seen anyone else open them either. So, yeah. Um, checklist. It has a lot of the same ones that you get in, um, like, the Yuck Bar series. But they are... Oh, this is from the world of the Trash Pack. So, um, see what's inside. Ah, oh, blind bag. So the grocery gang ones are squishies. Oh, look at this. It's an egg. That is so cool. This is uh, rotten egg, but it's in a different colorway to what I can see on here. Um, there's usually two colorways in everything. Um, and the rotten eggs that are on here are a completely different color to this particular one that's in my hand. Um, yeah, but I think that's what it's supposed to be, is the rotten egg. And it is just a common. But that is so cool. Burr, 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 burr. I love the eyes on it. It's so cute. And in the other one, we have the orange, which is... Uh, this is actually a gobstopper and it's called slob stopper. <laughs> uh, that's gross. Um, yeah, I love these and you can stick them on top of pencils and yeah, just they're cool and squishy and disgusting. <laughs> Alrighty, we also have one of these fashions uh, DC superhero girls super squishies. This is series one of these. These aren't wine bagged, so um, I have no idea who this is. But um, she's got a very tiny, teeny little body and a ginormous head. The hair is like really, really cool though. Um, I'm sure somebody will tell me uh, in the comments below who this is supposed to be. She is clearly supposed to be a DC hero girl, but I don't know who she is because I don't do superheroes. But she still looks really cool. So be sure to let me know down below who that is if you know. Look at this one that is sitting on top taking up lots of space. This is... A Disney Series 1 mini collectible. It has a whole bunch of Disney princesses, female characters. Um, there is apparently a golden Rapunzel. This is Series 1. And who do we have? We have Belle. Oh, look at that. Look how big it is. It's huge. It's huge mainly because of her skirt being so huge. So there was Ariel, Cinderella, Rapunzel, Tinkerbell, Snow White, Rapunzel, a uh, normal Rapunzel, and Belle. These are so cute. Her forehead's a little big. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but come on, focus. Her forehead looks a little weird. <laughs> but other than that, the detailing on it is lovely. It's very pretty. It's got some weight to it. That's great. I really like that. Awesome! 
All right, let's do this Pixar's Deluxe Mini Figs Mini Collectible. There are ones from Monsters, Inc., Cars, and Toy Story, and there is apparently a Golden Buzz Lightyear. Uh, we don't have a Golden Buzz Lightyear, but we do have, is that Mike Wick? Mike? Yeah, Mike Wachowski, I think his last name is, from Monsters, Inc. That is super cool. Look at that. That is awesome. They were a good size. Oh, like super teeny tiny. Great detailing on them. That is awesome. So, Mike. Um, so, at least these ones tell you who they are. I don't like the ones that don't tell you who they are because I don't know every all of the characters and things. <laughs> Alright, let's open this Harry Potter Mystery Pocket Pop Keychain. These are the ones that we can get on the back. There's a couple of, there's one, two, three, four different Harry, five different Harry Potter ones by the look of things. Um, a Hermione, a Luna, Snape, Voldemort. It's so weird that there doesn't appear to be a Ron. Maybe this is supposed to be Ron because he's not wearing glasses. I would love to get Dobby. Yeah, let's see. And these are a keychain. Oh, I got Dumbledore. How cool. Look at that. These are really nice. I don't think I'd put it on a keychain. I think it would probably get, like, this here would get broken off pretty easily. Um, I reckon. I'm going to get damaged pretty quickly. But you can take it off the keychain. The has one of these claspy things on it. Um, quite a nice keychain as well, but you could take off this bit here if you didn't want to put it on a keychain or hang it on a bag or something, but it's very cool. I really like that. Awesome. And he's wearing purple, so, you know. But the, the details on, on his dress, they've put all these little carvings on his gown. It's so cool really like that like the detail in that one let's open up this shopkins this one is one of the uh, world adventures ones this is uh, boarding to europe which was the second part of the world series one i believe I don't have a checklist near me, so I have to grab this one out. These all connect together. One day I will actually film a video that shows you how I connected all mine together um, when I redo my shelf. <laughs> um, so this is the checklist. Just going to open up the first one. The first one is a cake. Forest, Blake Forest gig. Sorry, I should have remembered that. I'm pretty sure I already got one. But that is really cool. Blake Forest gig in the pink colorway. He also comes in a yellow colorway. And we have one that must be a thumb. Yep, this is a Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> that is so cute. He's kind of got a slice out of him. The very deep dish pizza. Very cute. Pepperoni pizza. Awesome. Okay, and last, but by no means least, I have this two pack of Hatchimals Collectibles. This is the, not the Citrus Coast or anything, this is season one. 
This one has a garden, meadow and forest. Comes in a, a big, big box thing. Probably way more packaging than they need to put in it. It comes with a nest. It comes with a how-to, which is not that hard. Um, and this one comes with a checklist for the Season 1 ones. Um, it shows all the different areas and for the special edition hangouts. And then it has all of the ones on the back. Um, if you want to learn their names, you actually have to go to the HMOL site because they don't bother putting the names on them. I'm sure some people actually learn them. Oop. Throwing eggs around. Okay, so we have a red speckled egg and a pink speckled egg. And I'm pretty sure the pink one is the garden and the red one is the farm. So, they got little purple heart on them. When you rub, squeeze a bit hard. Uh, when you rub the heart and warm it up, it changes color. This one does not want to change color. You can hatch them without changing the color, but you know, you try to make these toys last a little bit longer for your kids. <laughs> so, the heart has, you can see now, the heart has changed color. Uh, if you crack them really well and pull off the eggshell neatly enough, you can turn this section here. This is what we have, and that is indeed from the garden. It looks a bit like a koala. Um, I would have to go and look it up to see what it actually is. It has silver wings on it. Silver wings is common. Pink wings are rare. Purple are ultra rare. And blue are limited edition. So this one just has silver tertiary wings. Very cute, though. My cute little face. So that's that one. So that was, that was from the garden. So I got that right. So this one should be from the farm. So we could get a pony or a pig or a lamb. Have a look at things. And X change colour. Oh, this is a hard one. We have a piggy. We have a rare piggy. Let's see, it's got little pink wings on it, which tells us it's a rare. And it is indeed a little piggy, a little yellow piggy. I don't know what it's crossed with. Hatchimals are always crossed with something, usually some kind of bird, uh, which is how they usually get their name. Um, but if I can find out who they are supposed to be, I will annotate my screen anyway so that you can see. So that is everything for today's mystery unboxing. Let me scoot in just a little bit so you can see. Ooh, a little bit closer. That's maybe orange. So let me know down below which one is your favourite. My favourite is the Dumbledore keychain. If you want to subscribe, click the button down on one side, wherever it is, or the one that's on the screen. Leave me a thumbs up if you like mystery unboxings, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!